Hi everyone, we are La Chimola. And we are back with another episode of Rendezvous, this time with B2B. Ooh, B2B. Ooh, ooh. So um, we asked all of you guys, our subscribers, so what are your underrated artists who you love so much? And we have B2B, and um, which stands for Born to Be. And um, before, I'm really sorry, you guys. Like, I got it all wrong. I had no idea that it was like B2B. Like, I. Me neither. I've I been said saying BTOB for yeah. a very long time. <laughs> yeah, I said the same thing too. Like, I mean, when we were watching Monster X Ray, which you know, spoiler alert, um, featured B2B on there in one of their episodes. I was like, oh, you know, and I totally mispronounced like their name. And, <laughs> Me too. And then uh, our wonderful subscribers would be like, oh, it's BTB. <laughs> I'm like, oh, sorry. <laughs> so sorry. But we know better now. We yeah. know better now. Oh, we learned from our lessons. So, you know, <laughs> get educated every day. So, thank you so much. And so, um, a lot of people requested B2B, but um, Juliana, uh, Juliana Wong, Ooh. thank you so much for <laughs> telling us your favorite tracks. And so, um, yeah, and then there were other people who jumped in and said, oh, you know, like, I'm so glad that uh, there's talk about B2B being an underrated artist, you know, from our different subscribers. So we're like, okay, now we got to listen to their music. We know that they are crazy chaotic. Um, the X-Ray. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they yeah. definitely know how to have fun. Yeah, and um, we've heard from our subscribers too um, that, you know, they're a pretty chaotic band as well. You know, like the personalities are very, very fun. So um, who knows? One day they might be in our rotation, our weekly rotation. Mm -hmm. You just never know. So, and caveat I have seen some of their performances mm -hmm. when they were on Kingdom Legendary War. Mm -hmm. um, they were one of the bands on there. So, I've seen them a little bit, but at the time, two of their guys were in the military. Mm -hmm. So, I really only got to see four guys. Yeah. Um, so, I haven't got the full B2B experience. So, I'm really looking forward to this because I definitely know that these, these men can sing yeah um for me i have never listened to any of their songs so it will be a huge treat for me you know um just to see i mean like i their personalities are all great and they're all wonderful but i i don't know what to expect i don't know who the rapper is i just know one person is from chicago um and is he the leader of the group i don't know no, so. no. i'm pretty sure bob is okay um and i've definitely sent you some pictures of the youngest oh yeah is that is that minyuk minyuk yeah yeah so i okay yeah so i i, I know what minyuk looks like for sure um i love to send tanny <laughs> pictures from the cover of koreans men's health <laughs> but they're always k-pop guys and i'm always like look at him yeah look at him we I like mean, him <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I've heard of Minyuk for sure. Um, not just from Monster X, it's totally different Minyuk. But um, I've I know that he's he has like some solo tracks as well that just recently mm -hmm. got released. I think I believe. Yeah, I uh, think he has like a new solo EP, and he's one of the guys who does really good on all those like Olympic Idol stuff. Oh, super athletic. Okay, yeah, I could I could see that. <laughs> I don't but, know. You can do CrossFit and not be athletic. That's right? true. That That's me. <laughs> people say I'm athletic, but I'm like, are you sure? I'm like dying you, over you here in the archery. corner. You could do it. Yeah, Goodbye. I could do archery. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I don't know if I could do it anymore since you guys see me in my glasses all the time, but like <laughs> I used to in my heyday. But um, but yeah, like I, I, I honestly have not heard any of their music. So I'm really looking forward to hearing them and learning about them and seeing like what kind of style, I mean, you know, style of music. And I feel like there's a big clue because their fandom's called Melody. 
Mm. So, you know, they must be primarily vocalists. Okay. All right. And um, I know this band has been around for quite some time. Um, They uh, debuted the same year as EXO in 2012. And so they, yeah, they've been along for uh, around for quite some time. I mean, so. that's gonna be their ten year anniversary this year. Yeah, yeah, so. crazy. The staying power. I feel like those third and second gen bands have really changed the game. Yeah, for what you can, how long you can be a band and what you can accomplish. So, um, fun fact that uh, we learned from Juliana is that um, they all planned their enlistment uh, really well because uh for their 10th year anniversary they're all gonna be here together you know yay which is amazing what a great treat for the fandom i love that in their earlier works uh i mean did a little bit of reading on them um before um you know delving into their music um so again debut 2012 they've been along um, been around for a while you did mention um was it uh kingdom legendary war Mm -hmm. they they were on there as well so they got more name recognition from that um but also um they began as a seven member band and so if you guys are like us and start seeing like six members later one person did leave the band so um i think that's important to note too because the it causes confusion sometimes too it's like what yeah. i thought i saw like seven. Oh wait why is there only four well that's because <laughs> two of them enlisted you know so just so you guys know <laughs> And we're actually going to be doing something a little unusual. We're going to start with a B-side from um, their second year, 2013, called When I Was Your Man. Um, This was one of the recommendations. And as you guys probably know by now, we're B-side girls. (laughs) Uh, We love title tracks, but nine times out of ten, when I have a favorite song or Tammy has a favorite song, I'm always like, there's no music video for this. So I'm pretty excited that there is a music video for this one. Yeah. yeah so um i'll be your man um so this is uh juliana's uh favorite era and um this is when i was your man oh sorry when when i was your man i'm so sorry there's there's a lot of man titles we've noticed (laughs) they are men they are men (laughs) they are they are i apologize i apologize yeah um when i was your man um sorry there's like a big note right here that says b-side too why did i not see that (laughs) i'm so glad i did not show the notes to you guys because it is ridiculously huge i wrote b-side and wow i totally missed that too apologize um but when i was your man um so juliana's perspective she said um this b-side showcases uh their vocals and their classier sides so oh oh. let's start classy we'll get to trashy (laughs) i I love love both colors yeah so um i'm kind of ready to dive in so this has 4.3 million views Mm -hmm. and this was when basically they're probably still rookies i mean it's barely a year i think so and for a b-side it's pretty good all All right right. let's check this out this is b to b when i was your man wait before you press that play button you guys don't forget to like share and subscribe so that we can continue on doing more of these rendezvous music videos or series series yeah I'm so sure. sorry. It's so so awkward all the time. All you right, got all sure. the words out. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You guys know what I mean. Okay, <laughs> let's press play. <laughs> I'll get this right hey, one of these days. When they were our men. That's serious. When I was <laughs> when, your man. When I was your man. Wow. Sexy already. I know. Oh yeah. No. Oh. I'm a free man now. Man. <laughs> what? Oh, this is cool. It almost feels like a special clip. Yum. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh. Oh. 
없어요 내가 네 남자였을 때 I think that's the leader. Mm. He has a great voice. Yeah, that's I love the like rolling beat. Expected. Yeah. Well, I kind what? of like how it just suddenly kind of like it was like a clean, sharp. Yeah. Woo. Okay. <laughs> the song started. I'm a free man. <laughs> I know. I, I was, was like, like what? what? <laughs> I mean, we didn't get the lyrics, but I was like, I assume this is partially being like, when I was your man, I did all this stuff for you, but I don't have to anymore. I know. <laughs> that was the vibe I was getting. Yeah. I'm probably wrong, but I was like, oh, snap yeah no no i mean just that one line it, it just makes me want to like look up the lyrics and be like what 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 does this song mean I'm like what do you mean you're a free man you know i mean i had the same vibes as you it's like when i was your man you got all of this but i'm free now i don't need to be with you no more I did this i did this i did this don't call me for that no more mm -hmm. <laughs> that was the vibe i was getting yeah. and i actually yeah, one of the things I really loved was, to me, it almost felt like it had like a little bit of like a Latin beat, the way the drums were, and like the it was kind of like a rolling tempo. Um, honestly, I, I was very surprised. It wasn't what I expect from like a K-pop group. Mm -hmm. This sounded much more like um, like a jazz group, like a jazz ensemble. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, I I kind of have like a different take like okay. this reminded me more of like motown stevie wonder type of like okay. music mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh to me so I, I i feel like the vocals yes but for me the background music i don't know it was just giving me like a little bit of a like a salsa beat i'm not sure yeah um yeah, uh, I, yeah I, I agree get, with you i didn't I get love... those vibes okay it's fine <laughs> We each hear what yeah. we hear, girl. Yeah. Well, what do you think of the instrumentation? Because I know you're big into that. I was I was surprised that it wasn't what I expected. Yeah, I, I mean, I I really love the piano uh, mm. throughout the song. That was like That's really part of the jazz vibe to me. Yeah, yeah. So that was like really really fun. It was just like a, such like an upbeat, happy. It, 
a pretty happy song. Like, <laughs> I mean, like, I'd, well, it had a great swing to it. Yeah. Good groove. Yeah. Which is like, probably, I mean, is this guy happy that they're not with this person anymore? Right? Like, I, don't know. I almost wonder, it's like, is he happy because she's come groveling back? And he's like, oh, ho, ho, I've moved on. <laughs> I'm doing this. This is nice. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I also really loved how the beginning of each guy's phrase, they started soft and then they like hit a note and then kind of there's a crescendo. Mm -hmm. um, and the harmonization was great seemed like there was a lot of ad libbing yeah uh it really felt like they were allowed to show their own personal flair and some mm -hmm. of the rappers sang before they rap so I was like whoa that guy raps too whoa. yeah yeah <laughs> I I really love the harmonization among them too like when I hear it and when I hear them all together they I'm like blended seamlessly it sounded yeah. like one voice which is gorgeous yeah it sounded so beautiful and I'm like oh what can you guys do that again <laughs> you know <laughs> and that again i feel like is why you're getting those like motown vibes like yeah. yeah that kind of like gorgeous four to seven chord blend mm -hmm. yeah it had a very wall of sound you know 60s kind of vibe yeah yeah and so i mean like i i loved how like they individually shine but at the same time when they came together it's like oh my gosh you're making me melt like, right now oh, yes <laughs> melt is the perfect word the more they blend the more we melt yes. <laughs> yes and there was at least three or four guys and we both had different ones where we were like oh i like that oh that mm -hmm. voice is good so yeah. yeah to your point they really got a chance to shine and they do have very different like vocal sounds but they're they managed to rein it all in together yeah, but we do agree we like the guy in the glasses. I think we both yeah. make comments on him. Yeah, and I really liked the first guy a lot. Mm -hmm. And then one of the rappers, I liked his singing voice. And then I was like, oh, shoot, he rapping too? He was the yeah. guy next to Bob, next to the guy in the glasses. Mm, um, okay. It was kind of hard to tell. I know there was like four brunette rappers, so, or whatever, maybe three. Um, yeah. But knowing as, as like I said I know them more as a vocal group so I was like whoa okay yeah. and even the rap I liked um it was very rhythmic but also still very melodic yeah um you can tell that 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 must be these guys real strength mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh what a good intro yay good intro yay no more want to know more more yes all right now let's switch to it's okay and this is actually the dance version. Um, and there's a reason why, right? Yeah. So um, we always listen to the advice of our subscribers, of course. And um, if you guys have time, uh, please watch the It's OK offic official music video. They do quite some acting in there. But um, the great part about this, she wanted us to focus on the choreo, you know, on this. And so we're like, sure, OK you know like so and I feel like we just had a good introduction to their vocals so yes. this is going to be cool it's going to be a totally different like color yeah and so um I'm looking forward to like we we both love like dance practices and performance videos uh, um and so we good. always we always feel like all of our favorite bands of course not even favorite just bands and k-pop bands in general um we only see like little segments of their dancing in their music video and but we all know that there's a whole choreography you know that For tour For yeah tour they've done the entire thing yeah yeah and so um this music video is going to showcase their choreography it's their dance version and so this is one of her favorite choreos and we would we want to see some dancing and we like, like <laughs> we just love it so and i do want to point out um their regular acting video version of this has over 10 million views and this one just the dance version has 8.9 oh wow right wow that's and volumes. what year was this is this 2015 i think maybe uh yes 2015 mm -hmm. yeah so yeah, it's, I mean, for the dance video to have almost as many views as the regular official video, you know, it's good. You yeah. Know it's good. Yeah. That, that speaks a lot of volume to their choreography. Yeah. And we didn't actually mention this before, but they're on cube. 
and we've listened to some other bands on Cube, but these guys I feel like are OG Cube. Yes, <laughs> yes they are. Which, you know, it's kind of interesting. I'm always curious about who falls under what label and, you know, if labels are laser focused on one kind or if they have more of a variety. Yeah. Um, I feel like Cube likes a variety, which I think is smart. Yeah. Um, anyway, let's do this. This is B2B, it's okay, dance version. Here we go. Woo-woo. I mean, already. Yeah, yeah. This is voice to men. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> right? It is giving voice to men vibe. Well. Oh, I like that. That's very cool. I love that mic stand. Damn. Right? Who's ad living? Oh my gosh. Ooh. I love this part. Yeah. like the guy's voice on the right hand side right that's the guy with the glasses from before than satisfied yeah I'm i would be like, like this sure. is awesome guys this is amazing <laughs> and this is wow. just a dance version what 
Wow. Oh, okay. First of all, the song, like you said, mad, like boys to men vibes, very, very R and B, very sultry, and oh, I love that right off the bat. It's like everyone's harmonizing. Get ready. Here we go. We're all singing, and it's amazing. I mean, that's what I wanted in the last song. Got a little glimpse of it. Now, I want, oh my gosh, wow! <laughs> my wish <laughs> came true. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this song is uh, this song is like um I love R&B. I grew up with R&B and when I hear a K-pop band like it's not K- K-pop is like more obviously more pop, you know, hence yeah. K-pop. But to hear like the R&B influence in there or There's genre a lot of, like subgenres under that big pop is a huge umbrella. It's huge, yeah. And and I feel like R&B is not a common genre in this umbrella, you know? Yeah. And to hear a band sing the genre and in their native and tongue, nail it. I was just like, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and going with that, I even feel like the choreo, it, it felt very like old school guy groups, you oh, know? There, yes. it, 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 they have a very vintage feel and yet it's obviously modern Mm -hmm. but you can see who the you can see who the references are even though this is uniquely them yeah yeah and you know I love me some props you know so yeah you do it's like yes you do that the mic stand dancing and that mic stand was incredibly cool yeah this had a simplicity about it that I think would have made it really hard. Again, you have to nail all these things. There was a lot of footwork up and down, like, you know, and the timing, how they switched out in the middle. And the whole time they're singing like three octaves. It's crazy. Insane. (laughs) Insane. I I can't believe this group is underrated. What? You know, their their vocals are so impressive. Yeah. I mean, there's not a bad guy in the bunch. It's crazy. No. And and hearing her falsettos too my gosh you know like and yeah because they have more of an r&b vibe it feels like they're given more leniency to like ad lib and harmonize and yeah it was just like oh like just when you were like oh i love this then two other people would be singing on top and you're like oh i I love this i know like who's (laughs) ad libbing right now it's gorgeous amazing you're like who is that (laughs) I need to know. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, I can see why this one was a hit. I mean, it's it's really gorgeous. I have no idea what they're saying. Yeah. Other than they're obviously trying to comfort me because it's okay. Yeah. Um, but you can hear the emotion in their in their vocals and I thought their facials too. They obviously (laughs) this is a band that has to feel the music from their head to their toes Mm -hmm. you can't sing like that otherwise and it's obviously the emotional side of their music is what makes it so um captivating for me like I was instantly drawn in yeah yeah I I was drawn in instantly too I'm like what is this voice to men I want to know more because again (laughs) I grew up with voice to men you know Mm. and so it's one of one of my favorite bands you know yeah. so it's like- and this I feel like they had the same smoothness it oh, was yes. like it's almost like usually I say one guy in a band has like a voice like melted caramel or honey this is like eight types of honey all being poured <laughs> in the same bowl and you're just yeah. like well what yeah whoa yeah I'm getting a little bit of a sugar overload but I like it yeah oh my gosh <laughs> oh so sweet but I love it and again, they can blend when they want to, but they also know how to stand out. Mm-hmm. Every guy gets a chance to show off a little vocally. And that just makes it even better. Cause you're like, Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. Oh gosh. What was that? That was awesome. Who's singing that part? I know. <laughs> yeah. And one of the reasons why I like this dance version is that like, like what you said, each person showcased their vocals, right? smack dab in the center you know and i mentioned this before um in other videos and if you follow follow us like you know i said this before but i mean 
well, I don't have a bias in this group yet, but, <laughs> um, and sometimes if you have a bias, your eyes just like detract a little bit, you know, but I have none. And so for now, and so, um, when I watch music videos, like, um, it goes straight to the center, you know, at least that's for me visually, you know, I mean, that's the intent, the way they film this. Yeah. yeah. And so how they filmed that. And for me, I was like, oh, who's that guy? Oh, you know, so they, yeah, like you said, like they had a moment to shine each one yeah. when they're in the center at the microphone. And then there'll be times too, when they're, uh, two guys singing and they're like still in the center, but not at the mic. And I'm like, well, yeah. what? My eyes are still like right there too. I'm like, Oh, and then there was Beautiful. that one part, um, where suddenly they were all dancing and no one was singing. And I was like, Whoa, yeah. Whoa. And that, then when they yeah. all move forward and like a line, I like that. I like how that was in the old, the last video too. Like mm -hmm. it, it, that cohesive, like you said, they all got a chance to shine, but then at the end, they're one cohesive unit Yeah, they and they're all together. singing and they're all harmonizing. And you're just like, I don't even know where to look. It's all amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I really like the song. I like the yeah. song a lot. Yeah, me too. I I absolutely adore this song. <laughs> All right. So good. so good. All right. Well, next up is I'll Be Your Man. Um, yes, this is 2016. I'll okay. Be Your Man. Okay, cool. And okay, now I could say this correctly. I'll Be Your Man is uh, <laughs> Julia, uh, Juliana's uh, favorite era. And, um, and she loves the vocals and the visuals. So, and I just want to point out this video has 34.1 million views. So we've okay. gone from 10, like a year ago to 34.1. I'm guessing this was a hit. Yeah, <laughs> most definitely. And is that rain that I see? It looks like it's rain. Yeah, like it sounds little like it. Oh, and I meant to mention that at the end of the last video, I loved the audio of like the rain. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it really like put a great little button on it, like a good, like a sonic ending that wasn't their voices. Like, what? That I thought was really cleverly done. It's like a GIF, but with that really pretty bow on top. Yes. Yeah. Love it's it. Gorgeous. But yes, this also looks like rain. This looks moody. I like moody. <laughs> All right. So here oh. we go. This is I'll Be Your Man. All right. Maybe it's snow. Girl. I don't know where you are. But if you can hear my prayer, give me one last shot. Well, she's a super moody. That violin. <laughs> you that I'm a better man will never let her go no not again <laughs> Hi. 
Oh, they all just collapsed right there. One thousand percent different than the last one we watched. I was not expecting this at all. Okay, now we know they could act. Yes. <laughs> wow. This is definitely a different color to them. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. We still got all the vocals and the harmonization, but there was so much more rap. The beat was much more intense. Um, ugh. I mean, all the feels were still there. It yeah. was just a very different mix. Yeah, so much darker, you know. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Obviously, she didn't betray him. It's more like he got duped by the leader of the other group, right? Mm -hmm. She's obviously in charge, please. Yeah. <laughs> and I like that. I like a good twist like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, again, we didn't see the, the lyrics, so I'm not 100% sure what was going on. Oh, yeah. But. I mean, even though we don't know what the song means, again, seeing this makes us like, okay, now we gotta read the translation to this or a lyric video, you know, which is a good sign because it's like, okay, this captivated us, you know, like, what does this song mean? And so, but... Why are we in a, in a war zone? Yeah, Why but, do you want to be her man so bad? What's yeah, going on? <laughs> yeah, but in all honesty, though, like, even though we don't see the translation, like, the song is very moody it's it's good it's like it pulls on your heartstrings you yeah. know it's, it sounds very epic it, like from epic. the beginning with the violin through like and then it just like ramps up I mean it like epic is the best word for it it's yes. enormous it's huge yeah it's so emotional you know mm. like we don't need to read the translations to know that like yeah. it their voices uh, their vocals are like ugh. again like mind-blowing I, I love how they get to do little bits where they shine but I like how when there's a crescendo it's more than one voice so there's yeah. always harmonization mm -hmm. which again adds to that the grandeur of it this song just feels so mammoth it feels like it should be on the big screen yeah yeah oh my gosh it's <sighs> And I was pretty impressed. Um, the rap has really changed, it seems like. Mm -hmm. And I was very impressed with um, it really fit, I felt like, for this concept because it was all rapid fire, mm -hmm. kind of had like a machine gun feel to it. You know, it was like a lot of words very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like that sort of like rapid tempo was a great contrast to the vocals that are more like soaring and like, you know, holding on to notes um two very I mean honestly it could have been two different songs mashed up together yeah. but it worked yeah and um the concept oh my oh. goodness like war zone <sighs> vibes right. and well not even vibes but war zone you war know zone. yeah total and, war and zone church and yeah the church it, is I, I thought the church would place. be a sanctuary, but it yeah. seems like it wasn't. It was not. Like you said, he got duped, you know? Yeah. So duped by the queen bee. 
right and you would think that small is like oh you know thanks for being right next to me kind of thing no that small was deceptive that (laughs) smiles like thanks for walking into my spider web yeah i got Mm -hmm. you she's like i am the black widow you know so Oh my gosh. It's, yeah. Like oh. you had said in the beginning, very moody, very dramatic, but their vocals really lend to that because they have so much power and emotion. Mm-hmm. So this was a great chance to show them off, but wow, yeah. I was not expecting this. It came out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and it's really cool too, because this song really, really shows like the ranges too. And yeah, like you said, they are ridiculous yeah and and the rapping too we we heard a lot more rapping you know as opposed to the others you know yeah. so oh my and i just have to point out those maroon crushed velvet suits yes love well i mean i i don't know why they're in a war zone but they're great <laughs> yeah honestly i'm not particularly a huge fan of velvet clothing but they look fabulous in it. I just feel like that burgundy color, that like deep, rich red. Mm-hmm. Ugh, it just, ugh, it looks so good on them. Yeah. And it's, this sounds so weird, but like velvet in a church, like it's, it's so fancy, you know? And I feel <laughs> like, a, you know, being in church is like, like you said, it's like a, sanctuary right and normally like when you go to church on sundays you gotta look your best and man do they look their best you know so they looked amazing Mm -hmm. you know and a lot of important events happen at like a spiritual place right Mm -hmm. weddings wakes Mm -hmm. so yeah it 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 adds to like the grandeur of it again epic yeah massive huge totally yeah (laughs) Totally. I just can't think of any better words for it. it no, they're absolutely I mean, the best words that you could throw out for this music video, for sure. Epic also, you would can be. tell that the agency is 1,000% behind them, because this is some cash. We're splashing out here. Yeah, I mean, this is serious cash. There's like a bunch of extras. There's fire. There's the poor I'm... Min Hyuk hanging upside down by his ankles. I Hi. know. I know, right? And I'm like, okay. And then um, renting that forklift or whatever is expensive, you know, to bring that on set, you know, come on. They probably weren't using drones for the drone shots. That was probably a crane. Yeah. Those are expensive. Yeah. <laughs> and even just the location, like the stained glass, the interesting, like, uh, why did professionals. I say forklift? I'm sorry. I'm like, why did I say forklift? Crane. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I need to crack myself before. <laughs> <laughs> sorry uh machinery guys there's a lot of it <laughs> sorry broke your thought <laughs> ah, no you're good yeah I was, yeah it's just it's very it's it was just grandiose in the best possible way yeah Ugh. Ooh. absolutely wow okay so <laughs> i'm like i uh, this seems a little weird but we're gonna transition out of this okay um on to our next song which actually while we've been doing these rendezvous we and i mean i'm speaking for both of us but i know i certainly really love ending on a newer track mm-hmm. um just to kind of like see the evolution so we've watched some fan favorites and now let's see what they're up to now. So this uh, song is called The Song. <laughs> yes. Self-explanatory. Yes. And it's actually from 2022. And it has 23.8 million views. Mm. This is a band that's been around for 10 years. Yeah. So that means a lot of their fan base has stuck around. Yeah. Mm. And so I wonder what kind of song this will be. Is this going to be another epic yeah epic song or is it gonna be like smooth moody or have they progressed to something even more different like we saw we saw different colors of them so far so it'll be interesting what to like what to see in 2022 yeah what they're up to right now yeah okay so here we go this is b2b the song official music video bam boom Bam. Old school. Ooh, yeah, real to real. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whoa. Epic. 
this sounds like a movie. I'm getting Dr. Zhivago vibes already. <laughs> Is this a ballet? It's a ballet. Ooh, okay. Oh, a CD player. We can tell this is a song for the fandom. Yeah. Oh. I really love this. This is beautiful. This is a great, like, thanks for sticking with us for 10 years. I I mean, even just from the music videos we watched, I'm like, it's okay. Beautiful I pain. Know. I bet you that's a song too. I know. Um, oh. all the fan mail that the one guy had in the trailer, listening to their old songs together with melody. Ugh. I know. I mean, this is a really good fandom love letter. Oh my gosh. And the stacks of like letters and uh, the, oh, the camera shot of the confetti like going towards like, oh my gosh, so beautiful. So beautiful. Oh and gosh. just the song itself, like I was expecting it to be maybe a little more over the top like the one before, mm -hmm. but it actually was like surprisingly intimate and soft. And I mean, it was gorgeous. There's all those, again, 
obviously what they're known for soaring notes great harmonies you know Mm -hmm. emotion in their vocals Mm -hmm. but you could see it really you you really felt that it was for you Mm -hmm. It wasn't about them. It was Mm -hmm. for you. And it really hit me. Oh, I really, really liked it. Yeah. uh, I love like, like that little Easter eggs in there, you know, that, that obviously it is for the fandom, you know, like melody it's okay mm-hmm. i mean like we saw just one of them it's okay you know yeah, we saw that. that's why i was like what it's okay yeah, and yeah. it was you know an uppercase that's why i was like yeah whoa. yeah but when i saw uh, beautiful pain i was like whoa i bet you that's another one yeah yeah the way that they capitalize like the words and stuff like that now i gotta go and like search oh, hold on let me see i know I mean, <laughs> like in but like we right love to talk about the best videos are when there's easter eggs for the fandom but we didn't even need to know that to love it. Like I instantly understood what the song was about, even though I'm not Melody. And um, yes, you are right. 2018. <laughs> Beautiful, Beautiful pain. pain. There we go. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, sorry, I had to like scope that out too, because yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, the little Easter eggs that they would put in there, you know. Okay, Melody, tell us more. What, what <laughs> other Easter eggs are in here? We already captured yes. a couple, you know, yeah. for a few. Um, uh, so, I really so love awesome. the guitar in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Um, I love that. I love that each of them are kind of in their own headspace, listening to things on their own mediums, mm-hmm. but then they can all come together at the end. And uh, the line about I'll sing for you until my voice gets out. Oh. Uh, it was just so sweet. And I loved how Minnie Hook um, sang a little before he rapped. Mm-hmm. That's the first time we at least had seen that. Mm-hmm. um you know I like a baritone yes you um do. <laughs> but even that it it was the lyrics were just so warm and comforting it was interesting when they were all isolated it should have felt cold and sad but it didn't because Mm-mm. they had the music that they've been sharing with you the whole time Ugh. so again it's like yes. if you're alone as long as you're listening they're with you right yeah. Ugh. I just felt like I got all the messages and all the feels and I know I didn't <laughs> yeah I, this is just what I'm getting from like the tiniest bit of knowing them so wow yeah, yeah the tiniest bit like like how I know them like right now you know yeah. so it's like what the amazing mean, this really floored me it was really gorgeous mm, absolutely beautiful and for them to title it the song you know I'm like oh yes it is the song oh my gosh yeah it it gives it a very like this is every song every song is for you and this is how we feel about it and Mm. uh, you know 10 years is a long time to devote yourself to anything yeah um and we know that they've been through military enlistment you know the pandemic anything and everything you can imagine and they're still they want to keep going as Mm -hmm. long as you're there they'll keep going oh it's just such a beautiful sentiment yeah yeah this band has been through a lot from from what we've read so far and um you know it's always so like everyone's always on the edge of their seat when it's the seven year mark you know and it's like oh is that is this band going to um call it quits or are they just going to move forward you know and thankfully they move forward you know into like continuing their musical career because you know they they love singing singing and you could tell you know from their passion is undeniable yeah yeah it's so it's so there you see it and man they're good you know and i'm so sad to hear that they're underrated like how yes how How? and again i feel like this song is another song where i'm like i don't hear a lot of korean bands that sound like this yeah this feels very unique Mm -hmm. and i mean i don't hear a lot of bands that sound like sound like this stop point period um you know the way they harmonize Mm -hmm. the way they emote it's just oh Oh, it's so good. Yeah, it's like oh, straight to your heart, you know? And like it's... you said, the transitions, the way the confetti, I felt like at first the confetti looked like all the fan mail, right? Yeah. And then yeah. it kind of transformed into that. Like, just like, at, like uh, the fan mail thing really spoke to me because it's like he was reading every single one. It's like mm-hmm. he's, they're treasuring each melody. 
yeah you all mean something they're here for you and you're the reason they're still doing what they do exactly I mean you can't be a group without fans yeah so this is a perfect love letter to them oh I just really liked it obviously guys obviously (laughs) honestly this might be my favorite yeah (laughs) I really really liked it yeah so good Mm. This this, uh, this is this is oh <laughs> I know I, how I, how are these guys underrated Yeah I I don't understand and I I don't know if it's because it's it, it's their unique you know style that they have like mm-hmm. I I don't know what it is but um why are people sleeping on this band I don't know you know right. so and thank you to everyone who told us not to sleep on this band because yeah. you're right yeah yeah i mean their talent is so undeniable it's it's crazy it's crazy that people aren't like you should definitely know this band why why haven't they showed up in my algorithm yeah that just that right there goes to show you yeah this technology is like not even helping them and that ain't good yeah because they deserve better yeah Oh, absolutely yeah this yeah this band doesn't show up on our algorithm either but I don't no. understand why it why? has never been recommended to me and it's like why not yeah well I love a good vocal <laughs> yeah I, come I on I, I, I don't get it yeah um I, I'm really grateful for um all of you guys that recommended uh B2B to us yes. um they're wonderful you know and they have amazing vocals oh my gosh their concepts to their music videos so pretty yeah I think so- it's safe to say we'll probably be listening to some more of this oh yes absolutely <laughs> and I have to say though you know I do have flashbacks to like the monster x-ray episode that they were in and it's like crazy duality you know because they were so yeah crazy in that variety show and they were like, just teasing them and ragging on them yeah and like one-upping them and yeah. so competitive and yeah. just hysterically laughing yeah. yes this is i i wouldn't have believed it was the same band honestly yeah yeah and i yeah i'm 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 floored i'm speechless yeah. right now because like, i love that 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 those that chaotic mess can also be this gorgeous polished diamond is crazy and that is the <laughs> makes perf- me love them more <laughs> and that is the perfect description like that's like they're like a diamond in a rough you know yeah. oh yeah. gosh absolutely beautiful so oh fun. juliana thank you for this so for your favorite music video recommendations and everyone else who said I'm so glad B2B is being recommended to you guys because like, quite honestly, I'm so glad I did too. So yes, we're both thank so glad. You. Another amazing, amazing find. Thanks to you guys. Yeah. Oh, we'll be, and like you said, we'll be listening to more of them, you know? Oh my gosh. So good. Stay tuned. I know. Stay tuned, <laughs> you guys. All right, guys. So um, our next rendezvous next week is with... I'm pretty sure I'm going to butcher this band's name. Victon? Victon? V-I-C-T-O-N? I mean, is it a long O? We never know if it's a long O, guys. I know. Victon or Victon? I know. I I don't know. (laughs) Let's go with Victon. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, someone's going to correct us, you know? I know. Yeah. I just think it sounds cute. Yeah, okay. it does. It sounds cute either way, but we'll go with your version because you okay. sound adorable saying it. So Victon. Yeah. A Victon. Maybe we should roll the R. There's no R. No, Never mind. There, I was gonna say, ah! there's no what? I want to roll the T. <laughs> roll that T, girl. Roll that T. <laughs> All right. So next week we we are gonna rendezvous with them. And so you guys, if you guys like this music video marathon of B2B, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we are La-chi-mola. and of course we always accept requests you know for our rendezvous series um so if you have more suggestions uh, please drop it in the comments below yep you are so much better than doing that i was like doing this <laughs> but 
<laughs> they get it. They get it. Yeah. Probably. On that note. <laughs> <laughs> Annyeong. Annyeong.